What's going on guys? Today I wanted to talk about the two most important settings that you need to make sure are correct before you start using your Sony camera. One of these two settings is for video, so making sure that your camera can record in 120 frames per second. The second one's using Sony's eye autofocus feature, so making sure that when you press the shutter button, it locks focus onto the subject's eye. Now this first setting is incredibly important because without actually fixing this before you start shooting, you'll only be able to record up to 100 frames per second on the Sony a7 III. Whereas Sony's full capability is to be able to record in 1080p in 120 frames per second. Okay, so I'm gonna jump into my camera and I'll show you the settings that we need to adjust. When you get the camera straight out of the box, it'll be set into PAL. So if we go over to our video settings, which is on movie one, you'll see because it's set in PAL, you can only do a maximum of 100 frames per second at 60 megabytes. And this is a huge limitation because we wanna be able to slow it down to 120 frames per second. So to fix this, what we do is we go over to setup number two. Then we go down to NTSC slash PAL selector, click that, and it will say change to NTSC. This will reboot it and it'll also format your card as well. So click enter and it'll come up with running on NTSC. So click OK. Then we'll go back to our menus and we'll go back over to movie one. Now you can see you can actually record in 120 frames per second at 60 or 100 megabytes. You also add the option to be able to record in 24 frames per second at 50 megabytes as well. Now the second setting I want to fix is actually adding the Sony eye autofocus feature onto one of the custom buttons on the camera. So to do this we'll go into our menu, then we need to actually adjust the custom buttons. So I go over to custom operation and click custom key. Now you'll see I've already got it set up. So what I normally like to do is I like to make sure that the eye autofocus is set onto custom button number one. Now I do this because custom button one is actually right next to the shutter button, which means I can hold down the custom button one and then press the shutter button and then it will lock onto the subject's eye. So click on custom button one. Make sure that you go over to AF2 and then you'll see at the bottom there is the eye autofocus feature. So click that and then it's set onto your custom button. So you can adjust this to any button on your camera, custom button one, two, three, four. It depends on personal preference. As I click menu and get out of the menu, I'm gonna show you how this eye autofocus feature actually works. Now you see, as I press the custom button one, it auto focuses and then it brings up a little green box just over my eye. This is by far one of the most useful features on the Sony cameras that you can adjust. Whenever I'm doing portrait work, I always make sure that I'm using the eye autofocus to get perfect focus every single time. Now those are two of the most important settings that you need to adjust on your Sony camera. So this is a very short video just to explain those two very important settings that you need to adjust before you actually start using the camera. Thanks for watching this quick video. Make sure that you stay tuned for more photography content and I'll see you guys in the next video.